Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will be reviewing Van Cleef & Arpels 5 motif bracelet that I had for over 2 years and I will compare it with the Cartier Love bracelet. Actually before I added them to my collection I couldn't decide which one is better and I'm hoping that this video is going to be useful for you. By the way guys if you like my content please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is the same as my YouTube account, which is black and gold style. Please also consider checking out my other playlists. I have posted quite a few videos about Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion, Chanel bags, luxury shopping vlogs, beauty products and travel videos. I will start with my Van Cleef bracelet, which is in white mother of pearl. And I really like this bracelet. I have been wearing it a lot. I posted quite a few pictures on my Instagram account with it. And I also featured it in so many of my videos. I actually started my VCA collection from this bracelet. I randomly went to the store. I saw it and I just had to buy it. This bracelet is actually one of the few items that I didn't spend months to think through and still don't have any regrets about adding it to my collection. I really love White Mother of Pearl. I love the way it's reflecting the light and all the shades that are coming through. You can see green, purple, pink and sometimes orange. It's so beautiful. I feel like white mother of pearl with yellow gold or even with white gold is such an elegant and classic combination. I never get tired of it. And because of this bracelet, I actually ended up buying a few pairs of earrings. And I have recently posted a video about them where I reviewed them. I will link down that video in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out. This bracelet came with the travel pouch which I find very useful. I usually keep my jewelry in the travel pouches because it's easier to store it instead of keeping everything in a box and it's great when you're traveling overseas whenever we'll be able to do that. By the way, the original length of this bracelet is actually very long. I had to reduce it by 3 cm and this length was the maximum that could be removed from the bracelet. And I was told that I can always put them back if I need to, which is a great thing. It's always good to have a choice. And at one point I actually was considering adding them back because I wanted to buy another bracelet and wear them together. I'm still thinking about that. This bracelet would be absolutely perfect if only I could wear it all the time. Unfortunately, Mother of Pearl cannot be exposed to chemicals and you are not supposed to make it wet. So I have to avoid spilling some water on it. It's not like I would do that, but I do wash my hands very often, especially nowadays. If Mother of Pearl gets exposed to chemicals, it actually can shrink and it will cost additional money to remove and replace it. And I have to say it's not very easy to put it on your wrist. It took me quite a while to get used to it. But sometimes if I have to rush somewhere, I just don't have the luxury of time to put it on. So I end up skipping it, which is not ideal. Now I can put it on by myself. I don't have to ask for anybody's help, but it took me a while to get to that state of things. That are the only disadvantages of this bracelet. Overall, I'm very happy with it. I get a lot of questions whether it's easy to scratch it, but actually I don't have any scratches on my bracelet. It looks brand new. I actually really like stacking this bracelet with other jewelry. I actually like wearing it with my watch. I like that look a lot and my watch didn't get scratched and the white mother of pearl still looks okay. And I also like to wear it with my other jewelry. I wear it with my Justin Clue and Cartier Love bracelet. I like to stack three of them together. 
but because this bracelet is still a little bit too big for me sometimes it overlaps with my Cartier love and scratches it a bit it's not too bad i'm always able to remove the scratches but this is something to note and now moving on to the Cartier love bracelet which i bought during the same time and i'm so happy that i have it in my collection i wear it all the time since the day one i never take it off i only took it off probably a few times just to clean it and i took it off in cartier and i asked cartier to put it back on me i love this bracelet so much and i think i'll never get tired of wearing it I bought it in the size that is bigger than my size. I bought it in a size 16. However, I could easily wear size 15. And I like the way it looks. It looks a bit longer and that's a perfect length for me. I actually went for that look deliberately. People ask me if it feels comfortable wearing it 24-7 because you're actually not supposed to take it off. I have to say I don't even feel it. Like I know it's on my wrist, but I don't really feel it. It doesn't really bug me, which is comfortable and I like that. Out of three different types of metals, yellow gold, pink gold and the white gold, I would say that the yellow gold is the easiest metal to maintain. I can actually remove all the scratches with Jules Rouge Cloth and i talked about it in so many of my videos literally in most of my videos and i will add the link to the product that i use in the description box below and this video is not sponsored i bought the product with my own money i love stacking this bracelet but the only thing is you can't take it off you're not supposed to take it off this bracelet was designed to be worn at all times and if you keep taking it off and putting it back on you might loosen the screws i usually give this advice to my friends that ask me about the sizes i would always recommend to go for a size bigger because it would feel more comfortable and if you still don't want to wear it 24 7 you may consider getting justin clue i previously posted unboxing and the review videos of this item and i will link them down in the description box below for you guys in case you want to check them out instead of its original box i prefer to keep it in the travel pouch as well i just find it a lot more comfortable and it's just easier to reach for it i just literally put it inside it has a small pillow i have never sent my cartier bracelets for cleaning i would clean it while i'm in the store but if i were to do that cartier would always give me a new travel pouch which is great and by the way this is the box i'll just show you up close and it has the screwdriver and actually the sales associate helped me to put the scotch tape on the screwdriver so that I wouldn't scratch the bracelet whenever I want to tighten the screws or take it off and put it back on, which is great. I would say that Cartier Love bracelet is one of my most favorite items in my jewelry collection and I really like it. And out of both, if I only had to choose one, I think I would still go for Cartier Love because I like the fact that I never have to take it off, which is great. Anyways, guys, this is it. I hope that you found this video useful. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!